Hello, esteemed travelers. Today is an exciting day. I am going to be doing a first impression. This is not a review video as I have been wont to do these past few weeks. This is a first impressions using my very, very first Natasha Denona palette. I've never tried Natasha Denona other than like one of the, I have one of her Chroma Crystal top coats and I have the um, one of the liquid multi-chrome shadows, but that's like the extent of what I've tried from Natasha Denona. This is the, the first palette that I've ever owned from her. And I bought this uh, during the VIB sale. I haven't touched it. I haven't even swatched it. Um, this is legitimately just a first impressions using this palette and just using Natasha Denona shadows in general. So yeah, I wanted to kind of film this and post my first impressions of this palette because just looking at it, I haven't even taken the, the plastic off of the mirror, but um, looking at it, it's just really beautiful. It's my color story completely. Uh, these tones really bring out the green in my eyes. So I love, love, love wearing berry tones. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this today, playing around with it a little bit, and we'll see what I think of Ms. Natasha Donona. Um, what am I gonna go in with first? I haven't even planned this look out at all. I could go like something super neutrally brown, um, but that's not the reason that I bought this palette. That's probably not what I'm gonna go for. Um, hmm. <laughs> um, let's just go straight for it. Um, I'm gonna go in with this shade Go Go. This one right here, Go Go, on a Morphe M441. I'm actually gonna take this plastic off now so I can actually use this mirror. Bye bye plastic. Here we go, moment of truth. Cream to powder. So I was told you should stamp it on first. Like that's the best way to kind of apply it and then go in with the blending. This one's definitely a little bit more peachy, which is nice. I like those kinds of tones. Peach, peach, peachy peach. So far I like it, it's blending out really nicely. I was kind of worried about these cream to powder shadows and how I was gonna deal with them, but it's pretty easy, like it's not, not too bad. And it's blending out beautifully, like I'm really liking this. Today is Remembrance Day in Canada and I took the day off of work because here in Montreal we don't actually get that day off. Um, we have Saint Jean Baptiste in uh, in June instead, so we have like two back-to-back -back holidays in June. I think it's like Victoria Day one weekend, and then Saint Jean Baptiste on the second day or the second weekend. So yeah, but I took the day off anyway, just because since I'm working for Bioware at the moment, um, they're off today, so I figured I might as well just take the time because I have some vacation days left. So I'm excited for Christmas though. I get to go back home to Vancouver Island and visit my parents and my cousin, my aunt and uncle. It'll be nice to go back and just have a relaxing Christmas at home. Although I'm really sad because I realized like it keeps hitting me that when I go back, the dog is not gonna be there because we, we put him down in, in July because he was old and he was sick and he just, it was, it was time. Like, you know, you look in their eyes and like they look at you and you're like, they're like, why am I still here sort of thing. Um, and it's really sad when that has to happen, but we just didn't want him to suffer anymore because he couldn't walk anymore. It was just, it was hard to see. So we figured it was better. Um, but yeah, my cousin got a new dog. So I'm excited to meet her dog. It'll kind of take the pain away from not having a dog in my own house, but I get to go and, and see her as you know. One day I would like my own dog. I really want a big dog though. My partner wants a little dog. So we'll see who ends up winning that conversation. If you want something like super small, I might just be like, well, I'm just gonna show up with a giant dog and you're gonna have to deal with it. So, okay. I'm going to go in with this shade um, Amara. I'm gonna take this shade Amara right here in the corner just on my Luxie 237. This is one of the mattes. This is not a cream to powder. And I'm gonna go in to the outer corner with that. Just deepen it a little. I'm probably gonna go in and deepen this out even more. I'm just doing a very basic look. I'm not doing anything super intense. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is nice. It's blending out really pretty. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. What else am I gonna do today? I'm gonna film, I'm gonna film a couple more videos and I'm going to edit the, my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz review and get that up. I've been like a lot more motivated to do like YouTube stuff lately. I keep going back and forth because like part of me just wants to go for walks in the woods and the parks around Montreal. And then the other part of me is like, I need to get things done. This blends out beautifully. Like, wow, this is really nice. What have I been missing out on for Natasha Denona all these, all these months? I also realized I've been on YouTube for more than a year now. Um, and I don't have too many subscribers. I think right now I'm at like 95 or something, but I appreciate everybody who has subscribed. And I know a lot of you are people I know in real life. So <laughs> I really appreciate that you're watching my channel, watching my videos and supporting me. Um, it's like, it means more to me than you'll ever know. So thank you as she pulls an eyelash out of her eye. Thank you so much. I am so appreciative of your support. Oh, this is really pretty. I love these tones. I can already like just see my green eyes popping. Oof, pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna go back in and do my under, under lash line thing underneath my eyes. Um, and take back that go-go. Wake me up before you go, go. I have to say, I don't really understand a lot of these shade names. I know this is like the retro palette and it's supposed to be like retro, but a lot of these shade names, I'm like, what does this have to do with retro anything? Go, go, I guess. Um, I mean, I wake me up before you go is a kind of a retro song at this point. When did that even come out? In the eighties, maybe? I should know this cause I listen to it a lot. My dad loves Wham. And I listened to a lot of Wham and George Michael growing up and I'm a big fan. Hopefully this isn't gonna take like a thousand freaking years. Um, I might, actually post a video on this palette. Maybe I'll even do it at the end of this one where it's just like comparing it to a bunch of other things because I know that there's been a lot of talk about it looking a lot like the Melt She's In Parties palette. And then there's has been some conversation about like how it compares to the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. And just like, cause I have both of them now, just looking at it, they're very different. Like this more, way more similar to Melt She's In Parties than it is to Huda Beauty, but I'll still maybe throw up some comparisons at the end of this video, just showing like how maybe similar they are if there even are any similar shades. So I'll definitely, definitely stay tuned for that for the end of this video. And I'm taking just a little bit more of that Amara shade into the outer corner on my bottom lash line there. If you can hear like a lot of cars going by, um, I live in a very busy area of downtown Montreal and there's constant like buses and vehicles going past outside my window, so. Yeah, this is pretty, this is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna deepen it out even more because I want to. I'm gonna take a pencil brush, this one. It's just random, con it says contour, but it's not a contour brush, it's a pencil brush. It's a, like a thick pencil brush. Um, I'm gonna go into the shade Rebellion, which is this, uh, this dark shade down here, Rebellion. It's like another cream to powder. And I'm going to place that into the outer corner. I just really want that deepened out. Let's just see how deep I can get it. I'm just patting it on for now and then I'm gonna go in and blend it out in a second. This is like a berry toned dream, like really, this is really pretty. More. Please sir, can I have some more? I'm trying not to get it looking patchy. I guess that's like my main concern. Like how are these gonna layer on top of each other? Like the, if I use the, the cream to powder over top of like a powder mat and stuff, like how's that gonna look? But I'm not having, I'm not having any issues so far, which is very surprising. Well, surprising, it's not surprising. It's Natasha Denona and I've heard nothing but good things about her shadows. So it's honestly not that surprising. I've been really liking like blowing my eyeshadow out towards my brow bone a lot lately. It's just like kind of a go-to look for me at this point. I swear I had more to talk about than this, but 
Oh well. I'm just gonna go straight in with my Luxie brush into that Rebellion. Pat more into that corner. I just kind of really want to bring out that depth more because all the colors are kind of just blending into each other at this point. Losing a little bit of that depth. Although I guess it's kind of what I want. Like I want it to blend nicely into each other. I'm gonna take an angled liner brush in that same shade Rebellion and put some of that on the bottom lash line in my outer corner. How are all of you doing? Have you been playing any fun games lately? I have been playing quite a bit of that new Animal Crossing DLC. Um, as much as I can, I've also been playing Ghost of Tsushima at the same time, and I'm really enjoying that. Um, it helps that the main character is insanely handsome, like who gave him the right to be as handsome as he is. And then there's also portions of the game where you get to go to like hot springs and stuff. And then they're just like, just blatant ass shot. And I'm not complaining, it's nice, but just blatant ass shot. It's like, wow, just throw a thirst trap in there. Why don't you? So handsome. It's a good game. I would recommend it. <laughs> okay, so I've used three of the shades so far and I am really enjoying it. Ooh, what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna go into my inner corner with the shade Mod, which is this, it's the lightest shade in the palette, the lightest matte, it's this one here. Um, I'm gonna put that in my inner corner and then I'm gonna put like a, what's it called? A, a shimmer over top of it. But just as a highlight, I'm gonna place that in the inner corner. I've been looking into getting a better camera because this one, I've had this camera for 10 years at this point, um, almost exactly 10 years. I bought it in 2011, so it's been a while and I would like to upgrade it because it only goes up to 1080p and even that it sometimes struggles with. And I can see it in my in my videos when I like upload them to YouTube, like the compression just takes the quality to shit. It looks fine when I'm editing it in Premiere, uh, but once I actually have it in on YouTube, I'm like, oh, why is this so like pixelated and it doesn't look good? It's always just like a big disappointment, but I don't really have the money to buy a $3,000 camera right now. And the one that I would like to upgrade to is about that much, like 3,000. I really want to get the Sony a7, but it's just, it's just not a possibility right now because I'm trying to pay off my visa and things like that. One day, that's pretty, I like it just as is to be honest, but I'm gonna throw some shimmers in there just for the sake of using everything this palette has to offer. But it's already like making my eyes look super intense because I have green eyes. So like red eyeshadow just really brings that out. I will say right off the bat using this, the look that I got with the Melt She's In Parties was very different. It was not nearly as red as what I've created here. Um, with that one, it's a lot more like deep dark purple. So yeah, already there I can see a big difference. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade mod, a little bit more on my brow bone, just as a small highlight. Yeah, on the other side. Now I'm gonna start using these beautiful shimmers. I'm gonna take the shade Swing in the corner here, this one, just on my finger. I'm curious how these apply with a brush though. So I'm gonna try with a brush because um, I don't really feel like getting my finger dirty today. Oh, it actually did pick up, look at that. Um, I'm gonna place that over top of those dark, that darker portion, like the last half. Oh, that is, that's beautiful. Like that's the depth I was trying to get with Rebellion, which is nice that it shows up. It's a little bit patchy up top, but I'm gonna fix that. Other side, it's like, it's applying a lot better with a brush than I thought it would. Cause usually my experience with shimmers is that it applies, they apply a lot better with your finger. Like they're just a lot more pigmented and they show up better when you apply them with a finger. But this is not bad. This is not bad. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that go-go on this brush. Just blend out the edges. 
probably the best bet. Yeah, there, that works. I'm gonna place this shade Patty, this one here. I'm gonna put that in the center. Okay, this one's not picking up as much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one's not picking up as well, so I'm going to just take my finger and apply that with my finger. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's a beautiful shade. You can't really like, no, you can tell the difference when it hits the light. It's just like a bit muted. If you're looking for shimmers that are just like out of this world, shiny and sparkly, um, that's not the one. That is not the one, but I'm gonna see what I can do with the other more like flaky looking ones. It does feel really soft. Now that I'm actually digging my finger into it, it does feel super soft. Um, using my other finger, I'm actually gonna try and apply that swing shade to the outer corner and see what the difference is. Cause I don't, I feel like I've lost a little bit of that anyway, so there. Yeah, that shows up, that purple shows up a lot more with my finger, so. Yeah, that's nice. I think I'm gonna go in, cause both of these pink shimmers kind of look the same, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we'll see how they look in the swatches, but this one and this one, they kind of look the same. On camera, you can see this one has a bit more of a peachy tint to it, whereas this one is a little bit more like baby pink. Otherwise, yeah, you can tell that when you're shining it, when like when you see the, the reflect and the shimmers and the sparkles, glitz, this one in the corner definitely is a lot more peach. Excuse me, all day. All day. Yeah, so Glitz, this one in the corner looks a lot more peachy, like in the shift and the shimmer. And then this one is a lot more like purple, pale pink shine. But let's see, I'm gonna place that. I'm gonna go with Psychedelic, which is the pinky one. Oh, that's not as flaky as I thought it was. It's pretty, but it's not flaky. Um, no fallout so far. I'm gonna put that in my inner portion. Ooh, ooh. This one I think is a little bit more, definitely a topper shade. Hmm, I like that. Do I wanna place it all over my eyelid? I kinda do. Let's do it. Because it's a topper shade, it's not gonna take away from that gradient, it's just gonna add more sparkle. Yeah, so that gradient is still there, it's just sparkly now, which is great. Yeah, already I can tell that this is different enough from the Melt palette that I'm glad I have both. I think that was my, one of my bigger worries was that like, oh, it's gonna be exactly the same. I'm gonna get the same look out of both. Why did I buy both? Um, but actually, I think they could be really nice companion palettes. Like you can pull from this one if you want to, or you can pull from that one. That's beautiful. I really like that. That's so nice. Cause it's just, it just adds a beautiful sparkle to your eye. Very minimal fallout. Like there's not a whole lot that fell onto my cheeks and the stuff that I do have on my cheeks, I'm not sure if it's fallout from this palette or if it's just remnants of the Huda Beauty look that I did yesterday because oh my God, did that have a lot of fallout. Just for the sake of using all of them, I'm gonna take some of that glitz on my pinky cause I wanna see the difference. Yeah, this one looks kind of the same sort of toppery shade. I'm gonna take that in the inner corner. Okay, this one has a little bit more of a sheen to it. This one's not as toppery. Although I don't know if it's just because I've put it over top of a light color that it seems like it's a little bit more sheeny. Let me try, I'm gonna take some more of that shade and I'm gonna place this just on the inner corner. I'm gonna see if that makes any difference. Yeah, okay, this one does have more of a sheen to it. So that shade Psychedelic is definitely the topper shade, whereas this one, it's still toppery, but it has a lot more of a peachy shimmer or a peachy sheen to it that you can put like over top of a light shadow to make it like really pop. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was going for, mm, pretty. I'm gonna bring that in across my eyelid a little more. Am I making a mess of shimmers again? As always, yes. The answer 
is yes. That's beautiful. I really like how this turned out. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that psychedelic. I'm gonna put it on my brow bone. Yeah, so like a shade like psychedelic, I would put on my brow bone as a highlight. Um, I wouldn't put glitz there because it has a lot more pigment to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm, mm. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so let's see how many of these shades have I used. Out of 15, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of 15 shades. That's more than half of the palette. So I've used more than half of the palette today and I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with that. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go throw on some mascara and blush and lipstick and I'll be right back. I'm back, we have lips, we have mascara, we have blush and highlighter. The blush I went with is the Patrick Ta um, Cream and Powder Duo in the shade Oh She's Different because berry tones all around. Um, I topped it with the Star Surfer Kaleidos Highlighter, which is this beautiful uh, kind of pale, pale pink uh, shimmer. And then I used, because I haven't used it in a while, my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse lipstick. Oh, I'm done, I don't need to wear this anymore. Bleh. Yeah, so let's have a chat about Natasha Denona and what I tried out today. Um, so it was the retro palette that I tried out, just, that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. I love berry tones. This is like the Natasha Denona, Denona palette that was made for me. Cause again, I love berry tones. So if there was ever a Natasha Denona to palette to try out, this would have been the one. And it's new enough that it's still kind of relevant in the discussions that are being had in the beauty community right now. So I figured what better time to try it. I do have the other two palettes that I said I would compare them to. So this one is probably the most similar is the She's in Parties. So there's She's in Parties and there's Natasha Denona. So at a glance, these do look very similar. Like I'm not gonna deny that they do look very similar, but when you go shade by shade, there's not actually that much similarity. I think they're more companion palettes than they are dupes of each other for sure, because when I've used the She's In Parties palettes, most of my looks have turned out a lot more purple leaning than they have like red and berry the way that this turned out with Natasha Denona. Okay, so this shade Skeleton Kiss doesn't really have, this is the one on the far right, Skeleton Kiss, it's this like yellow peach. The closest I would say is Glitz. So there's Glitz. No, it's Skeleton Kiss, sorry. That's Skeleton Kiss from She's in Parties. And then we have Glitz from Natasha Denona. The Natasha Denona one is a lot more shimmery um, and the Melt Cosmetics, which is the top one, that's Skeleton Kiss, is a lot more peachy. It's got a peachy base. It's not as shimmery. I would say these are definitely not dupes of each other. Um, I would say that they're not even that similar. So yeah, I, I, I wouldn't count those as anything close to one another. And other than that shade, I don't think that there's a dupe for Skeleton Kiss in retro. Next, going into the shade Strange Love, which is this mauve purple shimmer. The closest to that one, I don't even think that's worth swatching because there's not really a similar shade. Jude, Jude might be the most similar, but Strange Love is definitely more purple. So there's Strange Love. Oh! You know, actually, you can definitely tell that Strange Love is more purple. Um, this one's a lot more taupe, but you know, they're not as different as I thought they were gonna be. Um, they look a lot more different in the pans than they do on uh, Swatched Out, but yeah, that's those two. There's definitely more like a purpley pink shimmer in the the Melt Cosmetics shade. And there is a purple undertone to Jude as well, kind of. It's like more mauve -y. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're definitely a lot more similar than I thought they were, they were gonna be. So yeah, there you go. Okay, next one. Um, I'm not gonna bother with Total Immortal. It's this like bright mauve purple shade here. It's a matte um, because there is literally no shade in here that is similar to it um, at all in brightness or yeah, there's really none in here that I can compare it to. The next one, however, Last Caress, there's one that might be 
The closest to Total Immortal is Nude Mauve, and Nude Mauve is definitely more like taupey, mauve-y toned, and Total Immortal is very purple. So I, I don't think that those are similar. I don't think even think they're worth swatching. Um, but Last Caress, let's try that. So there's Last Caress. Last Caress is there, just to get it as, yeah, there's Last Caress, and I'm gonna swatch that with Andy. It's one of the cream to powders. Yeah, that's completely different. Actually, you know what? Because of that, I'm gonna swatch out Total Immortal, why not? It's closer to Total Immortal. It's closer to Total Immortal. So that's, the middle shade is Natasha Denona, um, and then that's, she's in parties, Total Immortal, not Total Immortal, Last Caress is on top, Total Immortal's on the bottom. Those are both from She's in Parties. And then the Andy shade in the middle is a good in-between shade between both of them. So that there's no dupe for that. The closest is Total Immortal, but still it's different enough that it's kind of, it's worth having both. Like it's not close enough that I'm upset that I have both of these palettes because it's a, it's a bit of a gradient. So it's that one, that one, that one, the light, medium, and dark. So moving on, then we have She's in Parties, which is this kind of, how do I even describe this shade? I don't even know how to describe the shade. It's this one in the middle here. This is She's in Parties. It's like a peachy red um, shimmer. It's a shimmer. So let's, let's just swatch it out. I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's like a bronze, a reddy bronze. There's that one. She's in Parties. It's the same color as the shine on the palette. Exactly the same color. Um, and the most similar shade to this is Patty. It's this one here. Patty is a lot brighter. Yeah, so there you go. She's in Parties and Patty. So She's in Parties is more a deep, like kind of rosy bronze tone. And then Patty is definitely a kind of orangey, burnt terracotta color almost. Like they're similar, but one is just darker than the other. So they're not dupes for each other either. I'm doing my best to find like a similar tone for each one, just so you can see the difference. Cause there's only been really the one that I would say is close enough to not merit buying both, but the rest of them are actually quite different. So like, all right, what do we have next? Sleepwalk, it's this deep, deep plummy purple shimmer. And again, Swing, Swing is the closest I would say to that. And actually I'm gonna, cause there's another deep dark shimmer. So this is the Melt, that's that one. The deep dark plummy shimmer, that's Sleepwalk. And then we have Swing from Retro. They're similar. The Natasha Denona's brighter. It's got more purple in it, whereas the uh, She's in Parties is more of a red color. I'm going to go in with this shade here, that shimmer at the end, Lost Control. It's a darker shimmer. Yeah, no, that one's not the same at all. That one's a lot darker. Okay, so the one in the middle is Natasha Denona, and then the one on the right is, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting the names of the shades. So the one on the left, the right is Sleepwalk and the one on the left is Lost Control. And then the middle is Natasha Denona. So again, the they're not that similar. Natasha Denona is a lot more purple. The one on the left is a lot darker and the one on the right is more reddy. So not that similar. You can see them on my fingers as well. The one in the middle is Natasha Denona, and then we have these two melt ones. We have one more shade to cover, and that is this Mean Streak shade, this very dark, dark eggplant aubergine color. God, I love these shadows. They're so freaking pigmented. Like, oh my God, mwah, mwah. And then the closest to that, there's two. I'm gonna go with Rebellion, this one that I used on my eyes today. Way more red. Not even close. Yeah, there's nothing. This is way darker, way darker, way more purple. And then this one, it looks 
Rebellion, this is Rebellion. It looks a lot darker in the palette than it turns out on the eye. Um, I'm gonna try Groove as well, which is a matte. That one might be closer. Yeah, Groove. Groove is actually darker than Rebellion is, even though in the, sh in the palette, looking at it, Groove looks lighter than Rebellion does, but. So that's Groove, that's Rebellion, and then that's Mean Streak from Melt. So they're not the same. They're definitely comparable, not the same. This one in the middle, that Rebellion shade, is not even close, not even in the same ballpark. But Groove is a little bit more similar. Not the same, but similar. So all in all, I really don't think that it was a waste to have both of these because I think that they'll be excellent companion palettes. I love both of them. I'm happy that I have both of them. And if you want to buy the retro palette or if you were holding off buying on the retro palette because you have the melt palette and you were worried that they were too similar, they're not. You can probably get the same sort of feeling out of both of them. Um, the Natasha Denona is a bit more easy to use, like melts palettes, especially this one when I've tried to use it. It took me a while and I had to really work with it, but I do love it. It's one of my favorite palettes from Melt. It's absolutely beautiful. It is the t exact type of looks and like color scheme that I go for, which is like deep, dark, plummy, berry tones. So it's perfect for me and I'm glad that I have both because I'm gonna use both. But yeah, they're, they're not that similar. Same vibes, but not actually that similar. If you're looking for something more blendable and usable and like kind of neutral friendly, go with the Natasha Denona Retro. Um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more statement, if you're looking for something that you can get a darker look out of and really go like with a lot of oomph on your eyes, I would go with the Melt palette. Pick one based on how you're gonna use it. If you want more drama, go with Melt. If you want more usability and neutral friendliness, everyday use, go with Retro, so. That would be my recommendation. I love both of them. I'm very happy that I have both. Let's move on to the Huda palette. Okay, so let me put them side by side. So here's Huda and here's Retro. They're both so shiny, what the hell? Yeah, so Huda, Retro. You can tell this one's a lot darker, like a lot more darker, a lot warmer. There's not that many cool tones in here. Like there's a, a little bit, but not nearly as much cool toniness that's happening here. Way more duochromes in this. Um, the only real shades that I could maybe, maybe compare. Can I even compare any of these? No, not really. Um, except some of the neutral shades like Gratitude and Aura. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do that. Why not? Maybe Precious? Um, okay, so we'll try, well, I'll try. It's a lot of more of these neutral shades that are kind of comparable. So let's go with Andy. It's Andy from Retro. It's comparable to Gratitude. There's Gratitude on the bottom and then Andy from Retro. Kind of similar, but not really. Um, Serenity might be a dupe for that one. So that's Serenity on top. That's from the Huda palette. Again, that's Retro. And you can see this one's way more like purpley pink. This one has more of a peachy undertone or mauve. Yeah, so this one's a lot more purpley pink and then this one is more mauve. I'm gonna try Radiate and Precious as well. So there you go. Again, Natasha Denona. Then the rest are all Huda. So that one and that one I think might be the closest. But still, Retro is still more pink and then these ones are a lot more nudie taupe. So still not really that similar. And for a neutral shade, like kind of all the neutrals in every single palette look sort of the same, so. Yeah, other than the neutrals, I really, I really don't see that many similarities between these two palettes. Like there's not a whole lot that I can compare in these two because they're just so different, you know? Like there's really not a whole lot of comparable shades in these two palettes. So yeah, go ahead and buy both <laughs> if you want them. Anyway, that is where I'm gonna call it today. I had a lot of fun with this palette. Had I known that that one shade groove was gonna be darker than the shade Rebellion, the way that it looks in the palette, because Rebellion looks a lot darker, I probably would have put some of that in the outer corner to really deepen out this look a lot more. But I do like what I ended up with. It's very pretty, I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm impressed with Natasha Denona. Let's, I'll just say that. I'm impressed with Natasha Denona. Am I gonna go out and buy all of her palettes all at once? 
No, I'm not. I'm very happy with just this one for now. In the future, if she comes out with more palettes that I really like, I might pick them up and review them. But for now, I'm happy with just this one palette. It's the perfect color story for me. Lots of berry tones, lots of pinks, really pretty. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I hope that you enjoyed this first impressions. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video.